Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've got a brilliant, brilliant commission to do next. It's based on um, a pour I've done previously. It's a Dutch um, pour bloom heart um, with a swipe border. So um, a lovely, lovely um, uh, customer, um, client, saw the something I'd done previously. I think it's a painting I've got on Etsy at the moment and said, I just want that, but bigger. So this is it. So we're going for 32 by 40 inches. So it's pretty big. The challenge will be um, blowing out the blooms, reaching across the canvas because it's so big. So I'm not sure how it's going to work. Um, I'm just going to work it out as I go. It's a really, really simple but beautiful colour palette. So it's going to have a white base. So I've got Montmartre white. And then the blooms, I just made up of four colours. So Montmartre gold, Amsterdam carmine, Amsterdam permanent blue violet, and Pebio Studio acrylic um, iridescent orange. So these four colours, so really simple. Um, there will be a lot of blending with the white. So from the red, we'll get some pink. From the dark purple, we'll get some light purple. So I think the end result will look like a lot more colours um, than just these four. They're all mixed with this flood flow troll and water. I'll put the recipe in the description of the video. Um, but this is my Dutch pour consistency I'm using. This canvas is massive. So it's 32 by 40 inches, which is effectively in my terms, <laughs> one meter by about 80 centimeters. So the client wanted a rectangle. Um, so that this will work perfectly for this style. So I've got a heart here, it's made of cardboard. I drew my half heart and then I traced around it and drew on the other piece of card and then and then cut them both out. So I know that I've got a symmetrical heart. So that is the, that's the design. That's what's going to have the Dutch pour blooms in. And then I'm gonna be leaving a border and then doing some swiping around the edge just to create some more um, interest around the edge. I don't need this yet. What I need to do first is cover my base. Um, so I've got my white mix here. Oops. So I'm going to pour this on. I'm going to use the hairdryer just to blow this out. Right, just to start explaining to you what I've just been doing. So I covered my base. I then cut out the very edge of that heart because I wanted to physically put it down onto the canvas. Um, but I didn't want to put the whole heart down. Otherwise, it will just pull up all of the paint. So by just putting down a thin bit of the card, it's only going to pull up a little bit of the paint when I lift it up. Um, now what I'm doing, and I measured, I measured the sides and I measured the top and the bottom because I want the heart to be in the centre of the canvas. And now I'm just mapping it out with some upside down push pins. So I can then lift up that cardboard and still have the very rough shape of this heart. This might seem a bit long winded. There might be an easier way of doing it. If there is, let me know. Um, but I've done this work, this technique lots of times before um, and it does work. It does get me the shape that I want. A heart shape has to be spot on. I think if a heart, if it's not right, it could look, it, it will look awful, look really, really bad. Um, I'm just gonna get some more pins. So at least by doing this and by going through all of this process, long winded process, it just gives me the best chance of getting the shape that I want. All right, I think that is probably enough pins. So now I can take up the cardboard and just get rid of that cardboard. So you can see it is lifting up some paint, but not too much. So blooms. I want to finish on purple. 
just deciding what order to put these down in. So I'm going to start with orange. So to do a bloom, I'm just going to put a little dot of paint. I'm going to do a practice one first to make sure I'm happy with the order that I'm going to lay these colours down in. So I'm literally just one drop of each colour. And then some cell activator. My cell activator I've mixed with Australian Fluoratrol Amsterdam white paint. Right, quite happy with that order. So I'm now just going to do lots of little spots, lots of little puddles. Right, so my heart is now done. I'm really happy with it. Um, I've got, still got a lot of work to do, but they're the, the basic blooms. I have no idea how many blooms I have just done. I will count them later. <laughs> um, so now what I'm gonna do, with a straw, I've got a lot more blowing around to do. So I need to get the edge really crisp. Um, I'm going to blow around where there's some white bits. I'm gonna blow the colors into the white bits. I don't really want lots of gaps. So um, it's just gonna be a mass of blooms, of lacing. Um, so yeah, quite a lot of um, work still to do. Um, Right, my heart is almost almost finished the last thing i'm just going to do is a few little swirly bits between some of the blooms just to help connect them all right my heart is finished i'm over the moon with it i've got the white showing through which i wanted to i didn't want it to be too solid but all the colours are showing through. The lacing is amazing. Really happy with my heart shape. It's a little bit difficult to see because it's so big. I think I'm only gonna know if I've got the heart shape spot on when it's dry. Um, and then I can, always, I can always embellish it, I can always tweak it. But the little swirly bits may be controversial, but they pull the whole thing together. So that is now one connected heart, one solid heart, as opposed to lots of individual bits. So really, really happy with that. Right, that's only the first part of this painting. The second part now is the border. So what I'm going to do is lay some colours around the edge and then with my cell activator swipe outwards to create a border to this piece. I need to do it relatively quickly because the paint is drying. It's not particularly warm, it's snowy outside and the heating's not on, so it's not too warm in here. But I can see along the edges, the paint is already drying. So I need to do it reasonably quickly.
so to swipe I've just got a piece of very thin flimsy plastic so I'm just putting a little bit of cell activator just on the end I don't know if you can see this or not I've just put it on the end of the plastic and then I'm just going to tap touch the edge of the colour and swipe outwards let's start Just to try and give you a rough idea of the time scale, I have just stopped my phone recording. One hour, 57 minutes um, this has taken. So really long time. But wow, I am so happy with it. Um, I'm standing up on a stool to get it all in because it's just so big, but uh, so, so happy with it. Um, let me show you um, close up. Um, so first of all, let me just show you the heart. Um, it's just perfect. It's um, the it's so like the original. Um, I'll put the link uh, for the original video in the description of this video so you can see it if you want to. Um, it's really similar because you've got all that beautiful lacing. So um, a lot of the colours have sunk, which is deliberate. Um, and I often get them sinking if I use a Montmartre white instead of the Amsterdam white. Um, so you just get this wonderful, absolutely beautiful lacing effect. And it just looks 3D. Um, so happy with the colours. They've worked so well. And I'm so happy with all the little swirls in this as well because it just pulls it all together. It is going to be so iridescent. You've got the um, orange and the gold. Um, it's going to be so shimmery, so pretty. Um, then you've got the lovely white boundary, the border, and then this just amazing lacing. So I think I said at the beginning, you get these different shades of pinks and different shades of purples because the red and the purple will mix with the white. And that's exactly what's happening around the edge. So you've got quite a pastel -y effect to the edge. Um, I may have to go around afterwards with some white paint just to even out that edge of that. I'm not I'm not quite sure yet. I spent a long time trying to get this border um, along here correct. Um, so, for example, there, there's a little bit of gold I will just paint over. That's not quite right. Um, so I spent a long time trying to get it right. And I because it's flat on a on a workbench, I just can't work out if it is the perfect heart. Um, and this this one here. I'm happy with my central one, but I just I want to make sure this one here is perfect. And I think the best way of doing that, to be honest, is once it's dry and it's stood up against um, it's stood up on a wall, um, hanging on a wall. Um, wow. So, so happy. I'll be back when it's dry. Just one final thing. I've just finished, just about to tidy up and I realise I haven't had my breakfast or my coffee. My coffee is now cold. I got so involved in the painting, I totally forgot to have my breakfast and to have my cup of coffee. So I will do that now. This is so big, um, but it has dried perfectly. I am so happy with that heart. Um, I prefer this to the original. The, the heart shape is just, I just love it. Really, really happy with it. Um, and then again, you've got this feature of a white heart all the way around the edge. Um, and then the, the um, swipes at the edge. 
Um, I'm going to put a border on it at the moment. If you can see, the, the edges are white. So in the original, I've got a dark purple border, but I'm gonna ask the client what she wants, whether she wants just the edges or whether actually she wants me to come in slightly to create more of a, a frame around it. So I'll give her the choice entirely. Um, let me take you in close up. Um, so the lacing is so, so pretty. You've just got this wonderful sense of depth in each of these little blooms. Um, and as I said earlier, I'm so happy with the little swirls because it just creates that one solid heart, but with all this amazing detail in the middle. Um, the colours have worked out beautifully. There's quite a lot of white in the heart, um, but I think that just balances the pastel-y um, nature of the edge, of the swipe at the edge. Um, it's really shimmery with the orange and the gold. And then let me show you this beautiful border. Um, I love the fact that it's quite irregular around there. It's not a, it's not a, straight, a really sharp line like the heart. The edge of the heart isn't a sharp line. So it just, it just gives it a slightly more relaxed and natural effect, I think. Um, yeah, so, so pleased with this. Um, so there it is. I've got to get right back across my kitchen to get it all in focus because it's so, so big. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think about the border. Should I paint just the edge, the top, all the sides, or actually come in with an actual frame around the edge? Uh, let me know what you think. That would be great. Sorry, that's my dishwasher beeping. It's just finished. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you like it, please do give me a thumbs up. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. Take care, everyone. Bye.